Now, yesterday we told you about a mother and her disabled seven year old son who lost everything when looters burned a liquor store and then that fire spread to her house. But this could be the deepest cut the loss of her boy's specialized wheelchair. And that chair has actually touched off an enormous outpouring of generosity and of kindness. 11 News reporter Barry Sims is here in the studio to explain. Great story, Barry. Thanks, Kate. When I was reporting on the damage in my old Northwest Baltimore neighborhood, I met LaPortia Lawson. She was standing near her burned home wearing pajamas. The clothes on her back, she says, were all that she had left. Her only concern, replacing the wheelchair and other things she needed to care for her son. This is LaPortia Lawson and her seven-year-old son, Kai Lee. The two barely escaped when fire swept through their Hilton Street home in northwest Baltimore. The fire started next door at J&J Liquors. Neighbors say before the flames and smoke, they could see people looting the store. Lawson says she and her son, who has cerebral palsy, lost everything. Even her son's wheelchair was burned. Soon after 11 News reported on her situation, we were inundated with calls from people willing to help. Some even came to the neighborhood with donations. The Porsche Lawson says the support has been wonderful and has helped her better cope with a devastating loss. A funding page was set up this afternoon for La Porsche and her son Kylie. You can go to our webpage, WBALTV.com, for a link. And the B. Gaddy Family Center is also getting some items together for the family. And wheelchairs have been donated, but Kylie needs one that serves his special needs. So Lawson says her son attends the William S. Bear School, and any other wheelchairs that they get will be donated to that school and Johns Hopkins Hospital to distribute the blessings that they have received to help others. Reporting live from the studio, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.